Hey, I'm Walt, and today we'll be learning about the different types of cloud computing. Who is it for? What exactly is it? And what options are there? This is a quick diagram of what goes into cloud computing. It shows the layers of computing and data, which get information from point A, you, and point B, which is me. And which cloud provider you choose depends on which one of these categories you want to manage, or which you want to offload to someone else. We have a lot to cover, so let's get started. If this is your first time joining, then subscribe because we release new videos every week. You're probably using cloud computing right now, even if you don't realize it. If you use an online service to send email, play games, or listen to music online, then it's likely that cloud computing is making it all possible behind the scenes. It's a combined system of remote servers hosted on the internet to store, manage, and process data. Cloud computing can also refer to a particular service. There are different platforms based on what you want to manage. And when it comes to choice, it's between building things to your own customizations versus buying something off the shelf. Like you can build your own bicycle from scratch, or you can buy one already made at the store. You can cook a meal yourself, or you can buy a meal already made for you. Well, when deploying an app, you're faced with the same kind of choice. Some people want customization, some people want off-the-shelf solutions. If you have an app or service, you want to have people download it and use it. It could be a movie streaming site or a video game server. So where is all of this product of yours going to live? Well, everything we access online, from the emails we send or this video that you're watching, it all has to be hosted somewhere. If it needs to be accessible, then it needs to be online. And if it needs to be online, then it has to be hosted somewhere. Cloud computing is sort of just a computer somewhere and all the things that are included with that. There are different ways to divide up the computer virtually or physically, but for the sake of this video, let's just say that cloud computing itself is made up of a number of fully connected, fully optimized, fully functional CPUs and hard drives. So what cloud computing options are there? Well, when a developer creates an app, they have to host it somewhere. After it's built and ready for public use, then serious problems need to be solved. How much bandwidth traffic will your product get? Is it going to be using a lot of CPU? Which takes us to cloud computing options. You could just DIY it yourself and set up a computer in your house and turn it into a server, but that's a lot of work and the performance and security would likely be poor and your hardware would quickly become outdated. There are other big limitations here too. For one, if you have website visitors in Japan, then it doesn't make sense to have them connect to your website from 3,000 miles away, unless you own multiple houses around the world. Which brings me to the next point, data centers. So what's a data center? Well, data centers are equipped with some of the top computer hardware. Well, Node has data centers all over the world. Some companies have more reach and some have less. Cloud computing companies can be broken into three categories, each ending with, as a service, and it depends on how much you want to manage. You have software as a service, platform as a service, and infrastructure as a service. There's a fourth one called serverless, but that's over the scope of this video. And the option that you choose depends on how much you want to manage. Look at this picture. A company's operation consists of all these things. You can have all of it be stationed in your building, all the computers, mainframes, overseeing the runtime and applications. The term for this is on-premises, or on-prem for short. Or you can offload some of that overhead to a cloud computing company if one day you don't want the headache of maintaining your computer servers, networking, and virtualization. This is the most basic category of cloud computing services. With infrastructure as a service, you rent IT infrastructure, servers and virtual machines, storage, networking, operating systems from a cloud provider on a pay-as-you-go basis. And then there's platform as a service. This refers to cloud computing services that supply an on-demand environment for developing, testing, delivering, and managing software applications. This makes it easier for developers to quickly create web or mobile apps without worrying about setting up or managing the underlying infrastructure of servers, storage, networking, and databases. Software as a service is a method for delivering software applications over the internet, on demand, and typically on a subscription basis. With software as a service, cloud providers host and manage the software application and underlying infrastructure and handle any maintenance like software upgrades and security patching. 
Users connect to the application over the internet, usually with a web browser on their phone, tablet, or PC. A majority of software as a service applications run directly through your web browser, which means that they do not require any downloads or installations on the client side. And finally, infrastructure as a service is a full self-service for things like networking and storage. Businesses can lease resources on demand and as needed instead of having to buy hardware outright. So these cloud providers manage the servers, hardwares, networking, virtualization, storage, and more. When purchasing cloud computing services, the main things to consider are what kind of plan you'll need. You can see here that the off-the-shelf solutions are fine, unless you're really trying to take your business seriously. And that's why people choose Linode, because it's custom. So to recap, one, cloud computing is the delivery of computing services, servers, storage, databases, networking, software, analytics, intelligence, and more over the internet, which is the cloud. You typically only pay for the cloud services you use, helping lower the operating costs, run infrastructure more efficiently, and scale as your business needs change. Two, you have three types of cloud computing, software as a service, platform as a service, and infrastructure as a service. There's a fourth one called serverless, but we'll tackle that at a later point. With these three kinds of cloud computing, it depends on how you want to use it. Three, when purchasing cloud computing services, the main things to consider are price, support, global scale, security, and reliability. And Linode has all of them. And number four, you have off-the-shelf solutions and customized solutions. And that's it. I hope this video helped you a lot. Subscribe and comment for more stuff like this, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.